does my voice sound so weird right now too? It sounds weird. Am I the only one who thinks that? Probably. I don't know. Oh, my shirt's back. Hey guys, it's Elissa and I am back with another video. And it's been a while. I can see that. I haven't posted since Christmas. Moving on. So, lots has happened since I've last posted, and that was that I got featured on a, another YouTuber's channel in a series called BAM. And it's from, okay, I'm gonna try to pronounce this, and I swear I'm not gonna get it right. So, Echo Gilead, maybe? I don't know, but she featured me on her channel, and I gained a bunch of new people. So if you're a new person watching, hello! I promise I actually post on this channel. I know. We're all surprised. But that's awesome. So I decided today I was going to post a get to know me questions tag. But it's not actually a tag because I'm the one who created the questions. So stop clapping. Stop. Stop. So question one is start the the question one is star the movie of your life. List who you would play you, who would narrate, and who would direct it. So okay, let's think about this for a minute. The person who would narrate it would definitely be Morgan Freeman. Because Morgan Freeman can make anyone's life interesting. Like literally, I could be watching YouTube and it could be a drama. Who, who would play me? That's, that's the question. It's not gonna look like me because I don't know. It just won't. Martin Luther King Jr. would play me. Morgan Freeman would narrate, and Kanye West would direct it. Why? Because why not? Question two is, how much wood does a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? John Cena. Question three is, what is my opinion on the legality of onion marriage? Here's what I say. If you're trying to assess whether a marriage should be legal or not, First of all, it has to be monogamous, since it is two onions. Onions have a way of talking to each other where they know what each other thinks and what they say, therefore, that would be monogamous. Secondly, secondly? Was that even right? Secondly, not second. <gasps> the second key piece to whether a marriage should be legal is if it is safe for both parties, so like, if you can get genetic mutations from it, yeah, maybe not. But if it's two onions, I don't think there's any genetic failures that could really present themselves. So I say yes, onions should be able to get legally married. Like, what's stopping them? Okay? I get that some people are onionophobic, but you really need to just stop because you can't let the happiness of others be halted by the happiness of yourself look at other people or other onions before yourself question four is if i have four pancakes and you have five blue apples how many hats can fit on the roof this question really makes me think and that's saying something so if I have four pancakes, you know, I'm gonna put hats on those pancakes because sometimes I just think pancakes need hats. And then if you have five blue apples, then like, we're also gonna put hats on those blue apples because equality. So, and then I'm gonna have a hat and then you're gonna have a hat. So then, and then the roof's gonna have a hat. One huge hat, because, you know, roofs have personalities too, and 
you can't just not give everyone else a hat and not give him a hat. So, I would say 12 hats can fit on a roof. Question five says, what do the blue curtains mean? John Cena. Question six, how do I feel about math? I have a scarring past with math, okay? I just, it's a past I don't like to talk about, okay? I have to be honest though, it is my channel. You know how in math and algebra, you're always trying to find X, right? There are, math is always trying to find his X. Well, you know what? I'm the X. <laughs> I am the X math has been trying to look for all this time and I feel guilty because math has gotten all these people involved and I just, that's how I feel about math. Question seven says, why didn't Cinderella just pick up her shoe and why didn't she just tell the prince her name? I think it truly was a laziness issue and I can sympathize with that because I am a lazy person. If I dropped a shoe, I would not go back and get it. And I think she didn't tell the prince her name because do you really want a prince stalking you all the time? Like, it was the first date and he was already promising her marriage. Like, cool your roles. Okay, you put them in the oven and they're burning. You need to take them out and you need to let them cool. Question eight says, if someone could read your mind, what would be one of the thoughts you'd want them to experience with you? Definitely, definitely me reciting Hamilton lyrics. Definitely. I'm working a lot harder by being a self-starter, by being a something. Either that or my high school musical lyrics sing along. <laughs> question nine asks, if you could ask Jesus one question, what would it be? Why do I have to make my bed in the morning and then I just get back in it at nighttime? I don't understand, okay? I don't understand. In seriousness, I'd probably ask him if gay marriage is okay. Just to, just to stop the bickering and arguing, like, you know? You know. Our last question, question 10 asks, are you afraid of pineapples? Yes. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can hit the thumbs up button down below and that will just make my little heart sing. And you can also hit the red subscribe button down below to get subscription notifications on when I post videos. And that's also a little reminder to me that I might be doing something actually right. You can also comment down below, um, and today let's just have y'all comment questions because these were my questions to myself, but if you guys have questions for me, I can answer them. What? Yes, I can, and that would be awesome and pretty cool and stuff, so yeah, go do that. And you know what I'm going to be doing? posting a schedule because lord knows i need one and i'll see you guys next time for another video bye